now under unprecedented and savage attack uh, by Noel Dempsey and this government, which disgracefully includes two Green ministers. Uh, and I think the Green Party's long-standing uh, transport policies are now shown up for what they truly are, just empty promises, worthless rhetoric. Uh, there's never been a greater need, I think as uh, Dermot Looney rightly said, uh, for the Labour Party to fulfil our unique role as the champions of sustainable public transport. And commuters, workers and businesses who depend completely on public transport can rely on no other party, in or out of government, uh, to fully support and deliver universal public transport services. Uh, these vicious bus cutbacks uh, with up to uh, a loss of 300 buses and, uh, more, as importantly, 600 jobs, uh, they come at a time when this party believes we should be expanding uh, the urban and rural and national bus services. <laughs> Instead, these cutbacks, they'll hammer low-income families and workers, senior citizens, children and other vulnerable citizens who depend primarily and very often on public transport. Let me say that with our trade union colleagues, we will continue to fiercely oppose uh, the current programme uh, which was uh, casually imposed on Bus Aaron and Dublin Bus uh, by Noel Dempsey uh, and this current government. On Thursday next, I'll be asking that Minister to outline what is happening to the levels of uh, transport investment funding in 2009 and down to 2014 under uh, uh, T21. Uh, and I think colleagues in the Kinnegad branch have so shown the value of important infrastructural uh, development and I'm hoping to have a look at the, uh, the site uh, at the Caloocan station uh, and the proposal for the reopening of the Mullingar um, Athlone railway line. But instead of these kind of innovative uh, uh, rail developments uh, as Tessa and, and uh, Manuel Cortes ha has outlined, instead of that we now have huge question marks being posed by this government uh, over uh, dedicated uh, public transport investment. A key result of developer-led planning of the uh, past 12 years has been almost the total lack of integration between transport and planning for residential and commercial developments. And I was delighted a few weeks ago to be with my colleague uh, Michael D. Higgins uh, and our uh, Galway West members and to strongly support their campaign for the retention of Kent Station uh, and all its lands for public transport development. Again, I want to thank the Roscommon uh, South Leitrim uh, uh, delegates and also uh, our colleagues in Tessa uh, for emphasising again the importance of rail transport. And it will be our intention, I believe, as part of a labour programme to revitalise the railway system uh, for to have a widespread programme of electrification and emphasis on freight, the return of freight uh, rail transport in this country. Uh, comrades, uh, pedestrians and cyclists are continuing to be ignored despite all the ongoing uh, Green Party uh, hype uh, about those uh, important aspects of transport. Uh, we're still waiting, however, for the long-promised uh, national strategies both on cycling um, and indeed uh, on pedestrians. Over the past 18 months, I've met with taxi workers all over the country who, who have described how incomes and standards are collapsing uh, in the industry. Uh, and it has to be said that the uh, Taxi Regulation Commission has failed Irish commuters and uh, Irish taxi workers just as the financial regulator failed our financial system. <laughs> and very shortly, our parliamentary party, we will be proposing a new, fair and strict system of taxi regulation and enforcement to achieve the highest quality service for passengers as well as providing a decent livable income for all taxi workers. <laughs> Noel Dempsey a few weeks ago spoke about economic traitors to Ireland, uh, uh, people who had betrayed this country economically. But I have to ask Noel Dempsey this morning, who was an economic traitor to this country uh, five months ago when he learnt that SR Technics was exiting this country and sat on his hands for nearly four months before protecting the pensions uh, and the jobs of the 1,200 SR Technics workers.
My Leinster colleagues and Dublin colleagues and I are the only uh, party with the Labour Party to have resolutely stood by uh, the SR Technics workers in Dublin Airport. Let me renew my call this morning for Ministers Coughlin and Dempsey um, and uh, Cowan, that incredible triumvirate who are running our country at the moment, to fully protect the pension and redundancy entitlements of the SR Technics workforce to purchase for the state the speciality tools and capital equipment of that company and to direct the Dublin Airport Authority um, and Idea Ireland and Enterprise Ireland uh, to make the facilities in Dublin Airport available for a new commercial state enterprise at, at, a, at a, a, an engineering uh, facility which this country does very well and doesn't need to close. Uh, Tommy, can you conclude, please? Uh, and thank you, Cahirlock. And just one important point for yourself, Cahirlock. Uh, when the Harbours Bill enters, uh, re-enters the doll shortly, uh, we, will, we will resolutely oppose the attempts to eliminate worker directors and elected councillors uh, from the boards of our harbours and ports. So finally, comrades and delegates, I'm grateful for all the contributions to the debate and for those of you uh, who um, attended our La Labour Transport Forum. Hopefully we'll be meeting in a few months' time uh, with a uh, greatly increased number of councillors, perhaps 150, 200 councillors from around this country. I look forward with you to developing a sustainable uh, transport system into the future for this country.